Hi guys, this is lesson number 49 from our CorelDRAW training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about Mesh tool in CorelDRAW. Using Mesh tool, you can fill color in object based on point followed by Mesh grids. Here in our screen, we have two heart shapes and there is a small strips. We fill color in these objects by using Mesh tool. If you will observe this heart shape, you can see that the edges of this heart shape, it is filled with the dark. In the middle it is bright red and there is a some shade of light pink so this way you can control color in object the way you want so let's see how it's done go to the zoom tool zoom to page height here i'm going to draw one square to give you the basic concept how to use mesh tool then we will create that heart shape so here we have a rectangle tool click on rectangle tool click and drag Press Ctrl key if you want perfect square. And here we have object. Right click on black. This way we can fill outline. To use mesh on your object, it is very simple. In our toolbox, at the bottom here we have interactive fill tool. Hold the mouse on this tool and then you will see additional tool. At the bottom here we have mesh fill. Hold your mouse over this tool and then release the mouse. Now in our toolbox, mesh tool is active and it is applied to the selected object. Once you will apply mesh tool by default, it will create two column and two rows. And it is presented here. You can see we have two column and two rows. If we want, we can increase. Now we have three columns and three rows. On your object, these points independently, you can fill with the colors. Let's zoom this area. Click on mesh tool once again. Let's select these points from the sides. There is a two selection behavior under mesh tool. You can see here we have a rectangular selection and there is a freehand selection. If you are going to select your points vertically or horizontally straight, you can use rectangular selection. If there is a curve and you need to select some specific points, you can use freehand. But for now, we are going to use rectangular selection. Click and drag to draw selection around the point you want to select. Four points are selected. And there is a directional handle around so once i will fill the color it will affect only that side let's try the color is filled and its flow from the right side next four point if i want i can select click and drag to draw selection around now these four points selected if i want to fill another color let's say light pink so that color it is smoothly blended with the previous Let's select the next four point. This time I'm going to add orange. So this is how you can fill color in object. The last four point we can select and we can add another color. Let's say yellow. So using mesh tool based on point you can add color. Not only that you can independently fill even a single point. If I will select this point here. And fill it with white this color is blended from that point around let's undo Control z not only that you can even move the point it will affect the color let's select these points and if i want to move these points to the right bring the mouse to the one point once your mouse pointer it's changed into the plus sign click and drag by pressing shift key you can maintain the horizontal or vertical alignment and once I will move the point, that will affect also the color. You can see the color, still it is blended, but it is moved to the right. Click and drag. This is how it works. And even single point, if we want, we can move. It will affect the color. Undo. Also, directional handles you can use to control the color the way you want to spread. These are the points and here we have a directional handle. You can click and drag. It's like a shape tool. Now the orange color is spread up here. And we can even stretch up, down and wherever you want to adjust your color based on directional handle also you can modify. Control Z undo. So this is the basic concept how to fill color an object using mesh. So let's create heart shape and we are going to fill color this way. 
first of all I am going to take one guideline because the upper point and lower point I want to create with the same alignment to create shape we can use any path creation tool hold your mouse or free hand tool and you will see additional tools I am going to use pen tool if you are not familiar with the pen tool here I have one lesson this is the thumbnail of the video exercise number 19 from this coral draw training course series understanding pen tool you can go and watch this video I am teaching in depth how to use pen tool and you will understand I am going to use pen tool you can go to the view click on snap to and here we have a guideline it must be checked so let's create a path I can click anywhere over the guide and click and drag and then double click to close the path so this is how we have a basic curve line to make it smooth we can use shape tool this point I am going to delete it is smooth here let's delete this point also now this way we have a path if I want I can control with the directional handle click and drag okay so this is how we have a simple path click on pick tool now we are going to mirror to the other side to do that the simple way is you can press plus key from the keyboard numeric keyboard then you can click on the mirror horizontally but there is another way using mouse and keyboard still you can duplicate and mirror object to do that bring your mouse over this midpoint press control key left click your mouse and drag to the other side once you see this blue path preview don't release your mouse first right click once you right click then release the left click and control and now you can see it is copied and mirrored to the other side now basically we have here two path left and right we can select both of them apply weld command click on weld but once I will fill the color the object it might not be filled because our both side points we need to close so let's try to fill color I click on the color but you can observe the color it is not applied to the selected object so for this thing we will go to the shape tool zoom this point and here we have two small triangle points we need to overlap them carefully now it is a node same thing we need to do from the bottom here simply click and bring our other point and now the color goes inside our object it is filled with the color we need to make it smooth these points so for this thing we can create additional node while your object is selected with the shape tool double click so you can add the point from the other side also double click and this point I am going to delete look at this now it is a little bit smooth here but if I want to make more smooth we can select the point but if I will use my directional handle it will affect the object from this side to lock the directional handle from one side once the node is selected you can click on cusp node okay and now if I will click and drag you can see the directional handle only from one side it works same thing I am going to do with this select it and click on cusp node okay so this how we make it smooth same thing I am going to do it from the bottom the first thing we are going to add point double click to add the node from both side and double click on the lower point here to delete this is actually okay but if we want still we can adjust select it select this cusp node In this point also click on cusp node and so this is how we have very smooth object now we are ready to fill color using mesh tool so click on pick tool we can delete this guide select it press delete key from the keyboard select it and click on mesh once you click on the mesh you can see that two column and two rows added here we can increase number of columns let's say seven and here we have rows I'm going to add maybe six we are going to fill all inside point with the bright red color 
we have a rectangular selection this time we are going to use freehand selection. If I will use rectangular selection I will select the point inside this way I cannot cover all because coral draw will select the points around look at this around the edges the points selected. So, in this case freehand it is very useful click outside to deselect all the point use freehand selection to select the point inside click and drag just to draw a selection around this way and look at this now only inside points all points selected let's fill with the bright red here I am going to choose the default red. We have now around smooth shade and it is giving 3D look in our heart shape. That is nice. Click outside to deselect all the points. From this side we are going to add lighter shade. So I will select the point. Select one point. Press shift key to add selection and click on the other points. So this is how we can add selection. Now here we have selected point and these five point I am going to fill with the light color we can choose this color. So, the smoothly color is filled. From this side here I want to add bright color. I can select these two points. That is fine. But in this area we need to spread little bit the color I don't want here in arc. So, we can select the point and click on drag. Click outside first and select one point. select this point using directional handle also we can adjust and that is fine here in this area we are going to add another shade so we'll select this point add color same color and in this area I want to spread it downward so we'll select this point and click on drag now if we want we can add some dark shade from the bottom and from the top for this thing once again we will use our free hand click outside to deselect everything and select some point from the top click on drag to draw selection around the points press shift key to add selection and select some point from the bottom so this is how we selected if I want to add some dark color directly I can click but it will be really dark to mix or blend the color once the points mesh point selected you can press control key and click on any dark color you want to blend so I am going to blend this navy blue so while I am pressing control key I will keep clicking on this color click look at this so this is how the color is smoothly blended around the edges that is nice and it is more than enough so this how using mesh tool we can fill color one thing more if you want to add column and rows direct still it is possible let's say click on this object double click to activate the mesh if you want to add column horizontally on this segment you can double click look at this one mesh grid is added vertically and if you want to add row on this vertical segment you can double click to add the row so this is how we can add mesh according to our specific need wherever we want we can add the grid click and drag let's duplicate press plus key move to the right by pressing shift key you can maintain the same alignment reduce the size and maybe once again we can duplicate okay so simply we have three strips here we have heart shape now it's ready we are going to resize click and rotate press plus key to duplicate resize it once again we are going to rotate and let's move it here we can remove outline around right click here you 
using mesh tool you can also add transparency in specific area based on points so how to do that once your object is selected double click to activate your mesh and then here we have transparency control before you apply the transparency of course you need to select the area you want to apply so here our free hand selection is active and I want to make it transparent in this area my object so the lower heart shape the edges of that it will appear so let's select this area select the point here this way and apply transparency use this slider look at this in this area now the heart shape it is transparent but from the edges it is not affected from the transparency so that's nice uh, let's apply 15 maybe we can also apply drop shadow so once the object is selected here we have a drop shadow simply click and drag so the shadow has been added select this object this hard shape we can also use shadow okay that is enough now we are going to add background it is simple we can double click on the rectangle tool once you will double click on rectangle tool coral draw will create a rectangle with the page size and it is filled with the color previously we used we are going to add light color so I will click on light pink and if I want further bright I can press control key and keep clicking on the white this way we can make it bright now the remaining thing is text here we have text you can use any similar font to add the text I am going to duplicate this text by pressing plus key and bring it here I can add the shadow click on shadow that's all so this is how we created this beautiful artwork by using mesh tool and you can see how the color is blended smoothly and it looks beautiful that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you